It has its ups and downs. Droid. This will be in the Overseer's Tower on the main level. We need to find a turbo lift to get there. New ability unlocked. Question is, what gun do I want? The droid said there's one ahead, along with the stormtrooper squad. All right, follow my lead. Always do. Okay, what do we have here? Slice this. That's a collectible, all right. Engaging stealth mode. Yeah, I'm using mouse and keyboard. No other way to do it, in my opinion. Nice and easy here. Get him, Del. What? There's a dude that saw me from way over there. Enemy with any weapons, oh, Jesus. Man, we're getting lit up. This guy right here. All right, let's do this for reals. What do we have here? Slice, please. Okay. Uh, I thought I could maybe sh shoot from up there, but I can't. Suck it, nerd. Scout trooper way over there. I'll counter snipe you, buddy. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing I didn't have the sniper rifle right now. I need an assault rifle. It would go a little bit better. Dang. That didn't help that we get flanked here. What's actually in this box? A blaster turret? Okay. Thank you. Could have used that about five minutes ago. Dodge my shot. Shoot him in the leg again just to make sure he's dead. Always blow up the barrels. Security is tighter than we thought. Getting to Hask won't be easy. No. 
Yeah, the, I, I, I would not say that the entire game has been horde mode. It's only been in the special sequences for whatever reason. As I was saying earlier, everything with Aiden has been great. But yeah, it's when you play when you played Luke, when you played Princess Leia, and when you played Solo. You, uh, it was all basically horde mode. I mean, the Luke uh, of the three, the Luke one was probably the I least. Have an idea. You're not gonna like it. Nice. Okay, we'll meet you at the tower. Until then, you stay out of sight. That new paint job will give you away. Don't just stand there, soldier. Let's get a move on. Get ready, Dell. Knowing Hask, he'll put up a fight. Let me shoot. Let me shoot it. Let me shoot it. Let me shoot it. <sighs> Come here. Come here. I saw you clip through that wall. <sighs> Never mind. Well, this brings back memories. Not any of the good ones. The Overseer's Tower is straight ahead. Half should be on the top floor. It's a really nice, really nice shot here. Gentlemen. Gonk droid. <laughs> Look at this. A cloud car. Can you even imagine sitting in that cockpit? I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad. No real pilot would ever fly one of these. Open door? No? Maybe we gotta go this other way. Ever since Endor, the Empire's occupations have only gotten worse. This could have been us, I, you and I. Think about all the good we've done since Bardo, Stell. We've made the galaxy safer, giving people hope. Yeah. It's time we did the same for Bespin. Let's find Hask. Alright, here we go. I'm amazed how busy this station is. The Empire's on the run. Their resources hey, are... What's all that chatter? Just marveling at the might of the Empire, sir. Rebels don't stand a chance. Copy that. Mm-hmm. Something like that. I hear the blockade's starting to crumble. Ships are breaking through all across the Anoan sector. This is Governor Adelhard's fault. He should have put down the uprising as soon as it began. How long until it reaches us? Doesn't matter. Word is, something big is coming down from up high. Something that will finally turn the tide. Droid, we're at the tower. You ready? See you up top. Where is everyone? Did you really think it would be so easy? Ask. We picked up the Corvus the second it slipped through the blockade. If it were up to me, I'd deal with you personally. But I have responsibilities now. And taking care of you is no longer one of them. Goodbye, Aiden. No, no, no! We can't let him get away! This always works, right? Look out! Run, Del! Get off 
the platform. That was a weird glitch. We've got too many troopers on our position. Wow, that is a lot of troopers. Shield. I put down that guy. He did some good work. The whole station knows we're here. We're gonna have to fight our way off Shinook Station. Good job, little guy. Now what? Task was just one part of the mission. You still want to take out the fueling bomb? How do you plan to do that? We're gonna need ships. Well, the X-wings are on the other side of the station. Droid, is there anything closer we can use? I think I can switch guns here. Slice it. Okay, I don't want this gun right now. Let's go with... Hmm. This one, maybe. No, no, not that one. It's got a burst mode. Uh, I think we'll we'll go with it. Need a slice. I really wish you could e equip more than one gun. That way you They're could have a. For us. Stay close and wait till I open fire. You got it. You know that way you could have a sniper rifle and, you know, an assault rifle. Droid. Nuke him. Shock. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't alert everybody. Dang, that dude and his... Kind of pinned down. Wait, what do we have here? Slice it, droid. Probably just a collectible. Yep. Let's go this way. Yeah, this gun overheats too much. I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Need to find something.
Okay. Sniper. What do we have here? Rocket launchers. Let's back up, Dell. Okay. Shield. Protect me. One more time. Actually, a couple more times. I think he's got a lot of armor. We're getting lit up. It's like there's a uh, manually placed turret over there as well. Okay. Wait, just a little bit here. Yeah, uh, visually, this is a really nice looking game. Hello. All right, one more. Okay. Let's go, Dell. Got. Tried to flank us. Sit down. Except for they just left. Shield. Right. No, are you kidding me? Dang it. Okay, I want to actually swap out, swap out these uh, these cards here. Shield is good. Oh yeah, I want that impact grenade. And then let's switch guns. Let's actually go with... That one doesn't do crap for damage. Now what? Pass was just one part of the mission. You still want to take out the fueling? How do you plan to do that? We're gonna Didn't change ship. my star card, though. Hold on a second. Droid, is there anything closer we can well, there it actually says impact grenade. Or if that's a bug. What is this? Now nah, we don't want that gun. Anybody know how to build it? A rotation for a scoundrel? Are you talking about this game or Sotor? If we lose comms with a squad in the 
tower. So stay alert. Everyone spread out. Commander Hask wants them found. They're still looking for us. Stay close and wait until I open fire. You got it. Destroyed. To disable. Okay, we're gonna go more stealthy this time. Let's take out this sniper. You know, that's the first time we've actually seen a, an actual stealth kill in this game. Like a for realsy stealth kill. Oh boy. Oh boy. There was a relic up there, or a, uh, a collectible, but I'm not good. not too worried about it. Okay, there's a dude there. There's another dude there. Can I hijack that blocker? How do I get around this? This way, buddy. This way. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Zap him. Dang it, that gave us away. Well, we're gonna need those, uh... Hey, guys. How's it going? Get in here, Dell. That kind of hurt. What? Must a third grenade. We didn't even see it. Kind of sucks. All right, let's take a look here for a second. Thermal detonator, shield. What else do we have for spot three that might work? Boost cards. Hmm. Nothing like spectacular. Oh, was it an explosive barrel that got us? All right. We're going to go with the classic. Now what? Hask was just one part of the mission. You still want to take out the fuel? How'd you plan to do that? We're going to need ships. Well, the X-Wings are on the other side of the station. Droid, is there anything closer we can use? We had a pretty good plan that time. But we know now that that way is pretty much blocked. I don't know if going this way is going to be any better, but let's give it a try. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Son of a gun. I was looking at the other one. Exploding barrels again. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just blow up the barrels by myself. That has got to stop. We've died twice to exploding barrels now. Now what? Hask was just one part of the mission. You still want to take out the fueling? How do you plan to do that? We're gonna need ships. Well, the X-Wings are on the other side of the station. Droid, is there anything closer to close? us? We lost comms with a squad in the tower. So stay alert. Everyone spread out. Commander Hask wants them found. They're still looking for us. Stay close and wait until I open fire. You go. What was that random blast of energy? Enemy with any weapon spotted. Let's go, Dale. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna get that rocket launcher, and then we're gonna end this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Pull out the shotgun on these nerds. Where you at, Dell? Hiding behind the box. Door. Did not mean to hit that button. Ah, uh, there's an exploding barrel. that walker go got eyes on the walker we do guard me Dell Grenades go off so quick. Ah. All right. Take down this walker. 
shot too. Let's get rid of these barrels. More barrels. That thing can just barely, like, hit us over that wall where it's standing. Alright. No, 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 no. Damn it. This, this is actually, like, a really hard sequence, apparently. Now what? Task was just one part of the mission. Still want to take out the fueling. How do you plan to do that? We've only had like a few just random deaths before this, and now all of a sudden we just hit something that's really, really hard. We lost comms with a squad in the tower, so stay alert. Everyone spread out. Commander Hask wants them found. See, I'm wondering They're if there's some us. kind of a tripwire thing happening. You got it. Basically, meaning that you gotta take down that walker, and until you do so, it's just continually spawning guys on you. On the other hand, you might be able to do a pure stealth run. Which, I think that's going to be really, really hard to do. See, we're, we're being seen by... that guy, so you can't go that direction. I think really this way is the only way you can go to start. See, there's this guy that's walking towards us here. Noise, Dell. I'm watching you. Guys, patting around. Back of the head. Wait a minute, can I? No, never mind. I thought I might be able to shoot these doors closed, but no, that's not an option. Take out that sniper. Where's the walker? Yep, 
It didn't like that, not one bit. Ah, you see, you can't stand in the line of sight of that walker. So careful here. Stay at max health as long as possible. We're going to play this really, really smart this time. Juice. Joy, need a shield. Oh, damn it, I never mind. See that one that just was next to me? I have no idea where he came from. Is he dead? Nope, one more shot. Okay, here we go. All right, Dell. We just gotta move. Shield. Look at this guy. Barrels. I want all the explosive barrels out of my way. Sniper over there. I think he respawned or something. You can see after I killed the walker, they stopped spawning. Still a few stragglers. Oh, that was Dell. I was like, what the? I don't want no part of them barrels. Watch out. 
I was looking away. He's... I can't shoot that turret, he's in my way. Damn it, Dell. More barrels. My arch nemesis. That's all of them. Now let's find that ship. What about that? A cloud car? <laughs> it's a ship. Uh, fine. <laughs> this is madness. Madness, I say. I think it doesn't even have guns on it, does it? I should have been more specific. It has weapons. Oh, it does. What do you want? For it not to be a cloud car. <laughs> Fueling platforms dead ahead. And three star destroyers. Which we're going to blow up. You know what? You were right. The cloud car was not a good choice for this. No, no, no. Think about it. All we need to do is take up the fuel cells. And the explosion will cause a chain reaction. Exactly. All the way back to those Star Destroyers. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you love it. I love it! <laughs> Command, I've got eyes on a cloud car inbound on your destroyer. This thing is patched into Imperial comms. At least it's good for something. Sigma-1-2, adjust approach vector for intercept. Probably out for delivery, but we can't be too careful. Acknowledge, Command. Uh-huh. Delivery. What am I aiming at here? Slippery devil car. One, two. We cannot fire our cannons until fueling completes, or we'll ignite the entire refinery. Stop them! But if we miss, and we we'll all die. Then don't miss. I think we need to get away from the Star Destroyer. Star Destroyers in a cloud car. We have intel on an abandoned Imperial factory on Sullust. Admiral Versio plans to recover a weapons cache from inside. We are gonna steal it first. I've called in some help to guarantee we do. Shriv, you'll be on the ground with General Calrissian. Secure those weapons and call us for escort. No matter what, they can't fall into my father's hands. Solist. You have a bad feeling about this. I'd be worried if you didn't. Admiral Versio's people aren't supposed to be here now. We should call Aiden for extraction. Relax. It's one strike team. We'll be fine. And if it's not... <laughs> That's funny. Turbo lasers. This 
place is pretty well defended for a deserted weapons cache. I only brought you for the company, but look at that. Tactical analysis. Give me a break. I know my way around Solist. After all, I did help liberate the place. That would explain why the Empire is still here. <laughs> okay. That was a good one. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Am I disappointed that 50% or more of the story is not Imperial? Given the defection, no, I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, I mean, personally, myself and I think a lot of others, we were just interested in the story of Aiden Versio and the Inferno Squad, and we are getting that. But for whatever reason, EA felt the need to throw in these hero sort of uh, horde mode sections. We'll see if this Lando one is, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same. Uh, and back to Ron Allen's question. So far, the only thing that has been on rails was that one at, -AT section. Everything else has been completely user-controlled. I mean... I, I don't want to say too much because we don't know where the rest of the story is going to go. But, you know, given what happened in the book, and Mox, I know you read the book, I'm surprised that Aiden defected so quickly. So I'm wondering if it's a ruse or if she's actually like a double agent or something. I don't, I don't know. Because, you know, for those who know nothing about the book, I mean, Aiden was a die-hard Imperial. She was born an Imperial. She was an Imperial her entire life. She went to all the schools and just... And, you know, if you compare it to uh, Finn as an example, Finn was taken from his family and was basically forced to be an Imperial. Aiden wanted to be an Imperial. She was an Imperial her entire life. So the fact that she would defect so quickly, that seems strange to me. Now, on the other hand, if it is true, her defection, it does make sense because, you know, even if you're on the Imperial side and then all of a sudden they're like, okay, we are going to, you know, basically destroy your home world. And then she's like, no. I can't let this happen. It makes sense. But still a little weird. You would think that she would fight her father on it more. She just wouldn't, you know, right there in that particular situation. She just, she wouldn't let it happen. But maybe she just felt like that she couldn't. So it's really hard to say. And, you know, and Vardos as an example. So Vardos was the world that they attacked with those satellite thingies, whatever whatever they were doing to the planet, like messing up the atmosphere or whatever. It's like, again, that Vardos was a true imperial world. You know, they were not a world that came into the Empire later. No, they were there from the start. They were like a starting world, and they wanted to be an imperial world. So why would... Why would the dying word of the Emperor say that he would want to unleash, you know, that weapon or whatever on Vardos? It makes no sense. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to see exactly where the, uh, the story goes. Uh, the one thing I will say here, though, is at the moment, I think the book was a better story than what we are currently experiencing. I think if they actually would have made the book the actual campaign for this game, we would have seen one of the best Star Wars campaigns that we've ever seen. I think that's just a better story. So far. But according to some of you in chat, I'm getting pretty close to the end on this. So I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Well, no, here the here's the thing, Blake.